What is up guys and gals? Welcome to one of the smartphones tutorial videos. In this video I'll be showing you guys my second method of how to do the factory reset on the Note 20. Um, the first one I will have a link in the description. You guys can check that out if you guys want to see that. Um, that's the one that I recommend is the first one. So you guys can check that out in the, in the link in, in the link below. Um, this is for if you have for whatever reason have malfunctioning um, software something that's not acting right uh, stuff keeps glitching twitching um, this is the way to do it the first method the one that's linked below is the easier method of the two but this is uh, another method of how to do the reset all you got to do is hold the side button and the volume down button simultaneously until this screen pops up we'll be powering off our device first once the device is fully powered off, I felt the vibration, I know it is now off completely, we'll be using the volume up and the side slash power button. Go ahead and press and hold that till the Samsung screen pops up. Once that pops up, you can now release the buttons and we will we'll be put into the recovery mode. And once we are in recovery mode, we'll be using the volume up and down button to toggle up and down on the list. And if you guys can't see that, I'll move this a little bit closer. We are gonna be looking for the option that is down says wipe data factory reset and then it says if your phone is reset you may need to enter your google account information email passwords associated with the phone to be able to use it again so if you have an account that's signed in you will need to once again add that password to fully to be able to access your device so once you have it selected there to the factory reset we're going to go ahead and select with this then once again, it gives us Android recovery. It says, are you sure you want to do this? All information on there will be removed. Photos, videos, contacts, anything that's on there will be removed. And it says, are you sure you want to do that? We're going to be using the volume down button to get to factory data reset. Once we are there, go ahead and select. And from this point, we will see now it is starting to um, reboot the system, starting to clear everything. So now that our system down here, it says data wipe complete. We will go ahead and select reboot system now by selecting the power button. And at this point, it should be bringing us back up. Uh, once the device starts, it should take us to um, the startup wizard to the, I guess, the first screen that you saw when you turn your device on when you just first bought it. So we're going to be looking to go through some of the steps. Um, it, it may at some point ask you for a password. Your, if you have a pin code for your screen to unlock your device, it'll be asking for some of that information during this reset process. I had none of that selected, so mine just went right through. So that Samsung screen does take a minute. Uh, if you have a lot of information on your device, it'll take a minute to go through and wipe everything, and then starting Android screen pops up. And after that, we are back on the Let's Go screen, uh, ready to set it up, go through the setup process one more time. So just a quick uh, factory reset video on if you have malfunctions on your device and it's not working quite, quite properly this is the way to go about doing that hope you guys found this video helpful if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and share with anybody who might be needing this information thank you guys for watching have a nice day